right, yes, hi all. It's uh, May 2023, and you can see the Subaru um, WR1 project there, plus the Lano Guard. So a quick summary on the car is that, as you can see, um, I've repainted many, many parts, basically that took the whole rear subframe out, repainted it all, powder coated it all, um, black, new bushes, new washers, new nuts and bolts, etc. Um, so we're looking. It's all looking good underneath there. And this is this is basically my sort of summer holiday and winter wet weather car. So I wanted to protect it and it was looking absolutely horrendous underneath there. You know, all the paint was basically gone. It looks absolutely awful. So now it looks now it looks really lovely. And obviously I want to protect this finish. Um because for me, you know, this car is a car that I will use on a rainy day, salty day, whatever. This is the car I use. You know, you can't be sort of hold, hiding away all these cars. I've got a you know, the classic cars down there, so I actually want a car I can actually use. So I thought, what better way to protect the car, potentially, than a guard. So I've looked into this, this one seems like a good product that I need. So quick look at this, oh, I've got in a box, so it does come with instructions in there as well, which I took out last night to have a little read. So you've got um, long tube and another sprayer. Oh, I see, so I guess that means you can also attach that straight to the bottle and then Put the bottle on the floor there, for example, and get right underneath the car, you know, and keep it in the right angle. So that's that one. Got a separate bottle there just for spraying. Um, obviously, obviously, sort of locally around these sort of areas here. We've got two liters of the product, the motor spray if that focuses. There we go. It's all DIY. Um, the probe there to get inside the box sort of section of sills and the sort of moto grease as well which you're meant to be sort of using around you know like around high high rust prone areas as it says you know it's areas where it might trap moisture and things out of the water so we'll see where, where i use that i'm not sure um and a sticker as well which you can basically put the date on that you've done it because it says on in the instructions, you know, you, you can redo it as much as you want, but yearly is a good suggestion to, um, to, to redo it. So that's that. So what, what I want to do for me, see, is I want to um, spray a section. So this um, strut here, then I'm going to leave it three or four days and then just see how it, see how it dries, see how it feels, you know, or a week if I need to, because of course I don't want to spray everything drive the car and find out that, for example, this remains slightly sticky and then everything gets covered in tons and tons of dirt and dust and sand and crap and it looks awful. I want it obviously to look, I want it to look pretty good when you look through the wheels, pretty, look, look pretty nice, but obviously be protected. So it's sort of offset of, of both items. I don't want it to look really shitty and protected. You know, I want it to look a bit, bit nice. Um, but protection is slightly more key for it because obviously, like I say, I want to use this car over winter. And stuff so yeah i'm gonna get it get a spray out now give it a go and then um yeah. right yes yeah, so a quick initial thoughts yeah i mean obviously i just uh decanted it into there using oh uh, one of these and um yeah i mean obviously it sprays on absolutely easy just a quick adjustment on this little test on there sprays very very nicely and you can see now it's got well if you can tell it's got a nice sort of glossy look um to it and you see the colour it's actually is, is definitely brown on there and you can sort of see there where it pulls and it's sort of brown brown sort of slightly oily colour but yeah you don't need much at all i mean literally just a nice spray of that is, is easy and i've gone a bit over there as well just to have a little look so i've covered over this section here covered it i did cover over that as well obviously covered over the brakes so i'm literally going to leave that now as it is and then you know i'll have a look later on i'm interested to sort of see you know if it's still sticky it does say it takes about 24 hours I think it's 24 hours to cure and then up to five or six days, for example, depending on what the weather's like for it to fully harden into its sort of candle-like um, colour. So I'm going to do this one here and I'm going to do the other uh, the other strut on the other side and then leave it at that for the moment. Cool. So yeah, the other side, so as you can see, got the spray bottle. Obviously, I'm just doing it left-handed, you know, a bit cat-handed, but you get the idea. I mean, it's sort of like... Very, very easy. That'll do for now, because in a second I want to do it properly, just whilst I'm not on film, so I can do it, get in there and do it evenly and straight, but you can see it applies very, very easily. Cool. Right, yes, hi all. So yeah, I'm very pleased. So that's some um, Vanaguard done on the back of the car. So 
if you can, I don't know if you can tell or not on this, but basically it's now got a clear matte finish um, on this. So that's been sprayed with a couple of a couple of coats left all day, um, basically in the sun to dry. And that looks completely fine. So obviously it's matte, right, as opposed to it is gloss underneath that, but it's a shiny matte, so I'm pleased with that. And it, this is the, um, obviously that's the roll bar. And you can see, if you can sort of tell, it's got, obviously the, the stuff dries um, clear and a little bit brown. Obviously it's a bit brown, obviously where it's a bit thicker, you know. If you spread it really light mist, it'd probably be clear. But you can sort of see it's got a sort of matte with a little bit of brown on it. Um, and it actually, it looks completely fine. So at least I know it's, it's um, protected. So I can tell quite clearly that is really shiny, glossy. And then it goes, yeah, just more mattified there. So what I've done is I've sprayed um, everything, including sort of all around this, this sort of lower sort of sill area on the car, apart from the arms, which are really visible. So I've left this, this clear at the moment. I've done both ends of it, um, but I've left this section here clear so I can put my sticker on there. And also, so when I'm looking at the car, you know, every single day, I can I instantly draw onto that part, part there, which is nice and bright. And at the back, I have left, I've done everything apart from the middle section of the anti-roll bar and the middle sections of each of these um, arms on the left and on the right hand side and um, everything else around that sort of section I've sprayed um, all the up, up in there, all the front parts there around the diff section, um, the main sort of pink cross beam which you can see it goes across there giving it a nice coat everywhere. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Um, so you can sort of see in the bottle I've used um, not even half, which would make sense because of course I've only done this back section here. So yes, really, really pleased with that. I've not used a 